Gypsum at one time had a bustling little downtown there along Railroad Avenue and First Street. And Railroad Avenue, logically, because the train came there and stopped there. There was a huge hotel at the corner of, of First and Railroad Avenue called the Skiff Hotel. People could stay there for the night and then disperse through the county wherever they were headed. Some were headed up to Red Cliff to the mining camps. The mining was up valley, but gypsum was always about agriculture. Scandinavians who immigrated here understood the climate. They understood how to grow things. Potatoes proved to be a particularly good crop here in gypsum. Gypsum was not only a ranching town, it was a colorful town. And it had adventurous pioneers who were very entrepreneurial. They weren't afraid to try new things. William Schliff is believed to be one of the first immigrants to come to Gypsum. He was a young man from Germany, actually came visiting with relatives in the United States and liked it so much he ran away when it was time to go back home. He lived the style of, an, of a Ute Indian, basically, and didn't wear all that many clothes until it came to the point where more settlers were coming into gypsum and some of the ranchers around got together and talked with him one day and said, Bill, we've got women now, you're gonna have to wear pants. <laughs> Please do that. Another one of the early settlers was a man named Orrin Daggett. He is a prominent figure in Eagle County history. He went on to become quite a crusading newspaper editor. He was always pushing for the betterment of the county. His historic papers are a delight to read. There's nothing objective in them. Brothers Sam and Frank Dahl came from Ohio. They loved horse racing, they also liked to gamble, and they developed a theory that if they could raise thoroughbred horses in the Gypsum Creek Valley at a relatively high altitude, then ship them to the racetracks in Chicago by train, these horses would have greater lung capacity and could race faster and longer and stronger than the horses from the Midwest. We are sitting in the historic Lutheran Church in Gypsum. It was built in 1890 by the Scandinavian immigrants who came here. The church, though, was also used by other denominations. This was a, a small, struggling pioneer community, and they were generous about sharing the church. For example, when a woman named Sarah Doherty, who was beloved by the community, died, she was an Irish Catholic. They let the traveling Catholic priest come in and have the funeral here out of this uh, Lutheran church. The Ladies' Aid Society in Gypsum was a very prominent group that got things done. They were a political force and they were also a social group. The Ladies' Aid Society was anti-drinking and ahead of prohibition, they persuaded the Gypsum Town Council to ban alcohol in gypsum. And the ban on alcohol didn't go over well with the newspaper editors of the day. They started writing poems and stories in the newspaper that would say, well, if you want to drink in gypsum, it's going to be tea. The current Gypsum Town Hall is located on what was once the Lundgren Ranch. Eventually, when Gypsum decided to build the town hall on that property in the uh, about the 1980s or 1990s, they needed to move the historic house. The other option was to destroy it. Fortunately, there was a buyer interested in having the house moved. They packed it up on a really snowy, cold winter day and settle it where it is now, which is near the junction of Gypsum Creek and Eagle River. It has since been developed into a restaurant. It's known as the Rittenhouse, and it has definitely a lot of historic charm to it. Similarly, the Lundgren Barn, they were able to leave on the site of the original Lundgren Ranch, it, develop it into the theater, which is now the center of the Gypsum Day celebration and of the activities here in the town. Gypsum undoubtedly got its name from the Gyp Hills that surround the town. I don't believe it was until about the 1980s that people realized what a valuable resource that gypsum was. And the wallboard plant was established, makes a product that's used all over the United States. 
Gypsum is a strong community that people are proud to be a part of and it has a strong community spirit.